Hello my crafty friends and welcome back to another card making video. Today I'm going to show you how you can make the most out of one die and I'm going to show you three different ways on how you can use a basic die. For all my examples today I will be working with one stamp set, this is a new one from the latest release by my favorite thing, it features adorable bears and uh, the die that I'm going to work with is the hexagon one and you get two dies in the set, one row of hexagons and another bigger one. So for my first example, I'm just going to create a covered panel. I do have a white piece of cardstock here, I'm going to secure my die on top, run it through my die cutting machine and then I'm going to repeat the process. Just snap the die in place and run it through two more times until you have the pattern all over the panel. Then you will end up with tiny little windows throughout the whole cover panel and uh, I'm working on a background now, so for that I'm going with distress oxides just to give some interest on my background and, uh, so that it doesn't look so flat. Of course for your background you can go with pattern paper, you can go with uh, colored cardstock if you like or even you can create your very own uh, background by using your watercolors for example. Now I'm just going to spray a couple of colors here and since I'm going with hexagons I have uh, honeybees on my mind, that's why I'm going with yellows and oranges. I did work on watercolor paper and I'm also going to add some water splashes. These are going to react with the color underneath Leave them there for a few seconds and then with a clean cloth or your paper towel just dab that water and you will end up with an interesting pattern and you can see how it's going to look. Now this panel would make a great uh, shaker card as well with little elements uh, shaking through all those little windows. However, I'm going for a simple card today, so I'm going to just stick this panel with glue directly on top of my yellow one. And I'm also going to use my scissors and trim out any excess from the panel underneath. Now I do have a very interesting background, all I need to do is to add a focal point and a sentiment. For that I'm going with one of the bears, I'm also going to stamp three of the bees. I will do some quick coloring with my alcohol markers and then use the matching dies to cut them out. If you don't have the matching dies you can always go with your scissors and fuzzy cut all your images. I used a circle die to cut out this circle, I'm going to ink it up a little bit with uh, light blue and this is going to provide a place where I'm going to stick my focal point. Now I did uh, add on my card base two thin strips of uh, black on each side and this is going to provide a little border when I place my panel on top. It happens that my panel is smaller than the actual width of my card which is four and a quarter by five and a half. I believe it is about um, two quarters smaller than the actual size. Now I'm assembling my main focal point for the sentiment I went with freshly picked just for you and uh, this is a sentiment from the same stamp set as the bear. I did uh, white embossed it on a thin strip of uh, black cardstock and I'm just sticking uh, all around him the bees as well as the flowers. I did finish off my card by adding a few gems at the center of my flowers and here are some close-up photos on the first card for today where I used the die to create a cover panel. Remember that this can be just a panel like I did here, a simple one to create some texture at the background, but also it can be turned into a shaker window. The second way that you can use a die like this one is to create a stencil. All I did here was to cut out the die using a scrap piece of cardstock. You can go with an acetate if you want to use it again and again, I just have to throw it away later on. And of course once you have your stencil, there are so many different techniques you can do with stencils. So of course you can go with inking through the stencil, you can apply paste through that, you can spray through the stencil and like I did here you can go with glitter paste. I'm using this lovely copper color by Ising. these are my favorites by far when it comes to pastes and I absolutely love the packaging, I have them for a long long time, for months now and they never dry on me just because of that packaging. And let's quickly turn this into a card, I absolutely love the sparkle so since you have such a lovely detail and texture on a card you really don't need to go very complicated, I'm just going to add a couple of bees and some flowers along with a heart to make it super cute. 
And in the beginning, as I was planning this card, I had in my mind to create a standard portrait card. You can see here I'm working on a panel that is an A2 panel. But later on, I am going to change my mind. I'm going to cut off the bottom part and it's going to turn this into a cute little square card, which is going to be 4 by 4 With a very thin black pen, I am drawing some trails as if you can see where that bee came from. I find this little detail very cute. Now this is where I chopped that panel, so it is 4x4. I did also stamp one of my sentiments, cut it out with a um, banner die, and I did cut out an extra banner die so that I can place it underneath. This is going to give some shadow on my sentiment. I'm using a strip of foam tape so that I can pop it on top of my card. And here are some close-up photos on this uh, little 4x4 card where I used that um, die as a stencil. And this is really sparkly in real life, but it's always so hard to catch on camera. Now for the first card, I did use the negative of die cutting. This time I'm going to use the positive, all the little hexagons that that die cuts out. And you can go and stick them down completely randomly throughout your background. This is going to give some dimension and texture on your background. I'm going completely flat with my glue here, but of course you can go with uh, foam tape if you like to give it some pop. And I'm going to show you two variations of the same design. I did have many of those hexagons and I wanted to use them. So the same idea will work for two cards. Now, all I did was to stick a sentiment, add my bear on top, and I'm ready to go. And of course, I had to give my bear a few bees so he isn't alone there. And here is the same card, just a variation of the same design. Here I'm using the negative as a template and I will stick in different areas some of the cutouts. The cutouts this time is white, so I'm going for a more subtle look for the background, white on white. However, in real life you can really see the texture. Again, if you want that to pop even more, you can go with foam tape at the back. And here are some close-up photos on this card and hopefully in the next photo you will be able to see better the white on white texture that I got. So these were the cards for today, I hope that you had fun, that you got inspired as I was playing with one die showing you three variations and I also made sure to use the same stamp set in various ways. Don't forget, just like always, you will find down below a full list of all the supplies that I used. Thank you all so much for watching and I hope you'll all have a lovely day!